start. Today I'm going to be doing some more cloud pearl pouring. And I've got for my base my white, and I'm only going to use white today because I'm going to do something a little different. Now this is a 9 by 12 canvas that's a recycled canvas. It seems like I do more practicing than anything else, but that's okay because I think I've mentioned this before, the more practice I get in, the more capable I will be when the right opportunities come. So 9 by 12, my base coat, I'm going to try uh, a cloud pearl pour. I'm going to pour a puddle and then I'm going to pour a cup and put a like a ribbon pour in various ways around or through the puddle. So let me get the cup poured, then I'll lay the base and then I'll lay the puddle. Alright, so let me get started here. Okay, so I think the most efficient way of doing this is to layer my cup first, then lay down the base, and then lay down the colors in the puddle, and then lay the cup through that afterward. So that's my plan. So what I've got here is Golden's Turquoise. You can see the consistency. It's probably even a little thick, but I'm not too worried about the ribbon pour. This here is the uh, Artez's Prussian Blue, Decor Ice Blue, and um, some of Golden's Cerulean Blue. This here is my Pearl Artez's Sea Green. And then here's Modern Master's Pearl. So I'm gonna layer these in a cup. I'm going to start with a little of the base. I'm only probably going to maybe, this is a three ounce cup, I'll probably only fill it maybe a third of the way. I don't need much. So I'm going to start with cloud pearl paint. Then let's, uh, let's do some blue. green. I'm going to make this very small layers. The pearl. The turquoise. I'm going to layer this a couple, a couple times through. All right, folks, so I'm going to double time through this because you don't need to see me layering everything. I do go through the circuit about two or three times, and I rotate where I pour the cloud mixture as far as what color I'm placing it next to. The real surprise in this is that turquoise from Golden, which is a transparent color, really did react well with the pearl base. It really pearled up nice. sit for a minute. Where's the lid? I like to have it sit on the angle that it was poured at. Okay. Put these guys away. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so let's put the uh, base down. And I'm going to stick with just uh, white today. Let's see how this turns out because the additional color is going to come in the form of that ribbon. And I'm not going to fully spread this out. I'm just going to get it going, and then I'm going to put the puddle down. So once again, I'm just going to double time through this. I'm just spreading out the base, not quite going over the edges, and making sure that I have enough paint to cover it before I lay down my colors in the puddle. All right, I'll be back in a minute.
So I'm going to voice over this section because during this time frame, my son was in the kitchen clanging on a pan and it was pretty loud. So this is the next color I'm putting down, which is the gold. And I end up pouring way too much gold. And in that bottom left corner, from your point of view, I put way too much gold. So that's the first direction I'm going to pour off when I get ready to tilt. And this last color is Artez's Bordeaux Red. not like this. So let me go back over here. All right, so I'm gonna double time through the tilting portion. You can see it just as well at twice the speed and save time watching it. So as I'm going along here, my first objective is to get that gold off and to stretch the paint out as much as possible going to all four sides. And after the first round going around dropping paint off, I realize I still have too much paint left, so I have to go around a couple times. You'll see, but you have to make sure to get enough paint off to get the, the base coat of the Cloud Pearl to activate into the colors and get those nice pearl effects. Another thing I'll also mention here is I had just uh, primed this canvas the day before and I will point out that I normally do paint the edges of the canvas before putting down the base coat. I forgot to this time, but I don't think it mattered too much since the canvas had already been primed just the day before. But it is good to paint the sides before you get started with the pouring. I do apologize for having to tilt so hard away from the camera, but you definitely get the gist that tilting at a full 90 degrees is definitely important to get all the paint off. Alright, so while this is developing for a couple minutes, I'm just cleaning up, doing some housekeeping, putting lids on things, and uh, letting the Cloud Pearl mix make its magic in the colors I've laid down. And I'm double timing through this so you can see the effects of this a little bit faster, and also save time with watching my video. Believe me, I do respect everybody's time and want to make sure that you get the most out of the video without a lot of fluff. All right, I'll be back. I love these little, these little 
hues that sh that show up. I just love them. I love them. It's gorgeous. I don't even know where to start. I don't think I have an idea actually. Let's make some more of those beautiful hues. Oh, I think I'm going to like this one. Once again, all I'm doing is just letting the paint show me the way. So again, I'm going to double time through this as I do a lot of embellishments and I point out that I just love this straw and in this section I find that beautiful Venetian rose that I do add some embellishments with. But most of the way through this I'm just letting the paint and what's existing as the painting right now guide me as to where I need to add a little more flow or embellishments or whatever. So here I'm actually adding the Venetian Rose because that Venetian Rose and Payne's Gray were really playing very nicely together and this section just looked very beautiful. So what I'm doing here is trying to blow a little bit of that Payne's Gray into that basically white stark section. Just felt it was too blank and needed a little bit of wisp going into it.
sure is interesting. I am amazed at how much the golden turquoise reacted with the cloud. So this is where we are. I might play with it a little more. Okay, but I'm gonna call this a wrap. I do touch it up a little bit more, but I really love the way this one turned out. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and share with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.